began bed racking as a small child, one or two years old. I don't remember how old I was. I know I wasn't in school yet. And it was a form of relaxation for me, something I did at night before going to sleep. Uh, it helped me put to sleep. And I would always bed rock back and forth, humming or singing a song or something that I've heard. Uh, as years went on, I've heard of other children who bed rock uh, for relaxation. Uh, I don't know, I uh, continued bed rocking though. I started listening to a lot of music as I rock and I enjoyed this very much and um, some people enjoy listening to music while they're driving in their car or um, dancing watching MTV whatever, whatever it is that they like to do and it goes it's a, goes along with it um, some of the benefits that I noticed while music and bed rocking is uh, well one of the benefits is very therapeutic very relaxing to the body and it seems to the body and mind um, I never get headaches, and when I do have sore muscles or back aches or something from playing sports or working out at the gym, I have bed rock, and uh, it takes that pain and tension away. You know, not right away, but it, it, it seems to, to heal it faster, and it feels good. Uh, a low impact workout. I use it before and after I go to the gym uh, to relax my muscles, my bones, my body, my whole body. I've been able to come up with ideas from different art projects and music projects through bedrock. And uh, I'll continue to do bedrock because it feels good and it helps me out in that so many ways in my life. Uh, and it's my way to listen to music. I like dancing and everything else, but I like bedrock the most. The combination of the rhythmic motion of, of bedrocking and the music um, it allows me to concentrate on specific ideas and, and artistic projects and even problems. Much more intense, uh, much more in focus. Um, especially the artistic projects. I, I slip into this trance-like state whenever I'm, whenever I'm working on something or thinking about something and it allows me to, to meditate on the project much more intense. Uh, my mind and body constantly crave been rocking. Uh, it's like a habit. Uh, I just crave it all the time. Every day there's a craving for it. And uh, I look forward to when I can get a few minutes into bed rock. And I, I can't see my life without it. I remember in bed rocking when I was seven or eight. He was probably about five or six when I remember him doing it. Did it quite a bit. I I don't know. Fourth grade. I was eight, nine. He was eight or nine. I was eight or nine. You were eight or nine. You, you I'd say he was twelve-ish. Okay. Cindy, do you so, recall when you first? Uh, I don't remember exactly the age. He was uh, in his own bed, so he must have been about four or five, and I was quite four years older. And that's about the age I remember. I don't remember his age, but he was still in the crib. He was sleeping in a crib when I first noticed him bed rocking. So he had to be around a year. That young? Around, around a year old, yes. I would say he was probably about a year old when I... I he was still in the crib, and I never kept him in a crib after they started climbing out. So uh, he was probably about a year old when I noticed it. But I didn't notice it till more like six or seven when he was in a bed by himself is when I actually noticed it. Probably about uh, 12, 13, teenagers. Well, I remember he, uh, he, my dad built a room downstairs for him and he was like probably about 13, you know, junior high, kind of, you know, getting his independence. So he got his own room and I think that's when I noticed, you know, because now he's got his own room, he's in my own room, I, you know, 
You're never really in there together, only to sleep. Well, just basically, uh, just lay in bed and uh, roll back and forth and sort of keep your feet where they are. He would, he would, his whole body would just roll from one side of his face to the other the side. Whole Whole body, body. Would roll from the and you asked me, you know, just straight as a stick. Yeah, yeah. and he'd roll. Totally. Yeah. Bed rocking, I would describe it as rolling back and forth in your bed, kind of singing or humming, you know, yourself to sleep. Into that. Um, I wouldn't say putting yourself to sleep, more as a just a soothing. I don't know. I don't know. Trance-like soothing state. Bed rocking was. Rolling back and forth, he would make sure he would roll completely from one side to the other, and, and usually he hummed uh, music songs. Uh, he's always always hummed something when he did it. He never he was never quiet. He usually had a constant rhythm. It was usually the the same speed. It's fairly fast. It was usually the same speed. He rolled back and forth and back. You know, was... bed rocking. As far as um, Mike bed rocks, just you know, he lays down on the bed and he just puts on music and he rocks back and forth. She says he's moving side to side and listening to music. Yes. It's okay. Once. Only once? Mm hmm How long ago was that? Um, maybe three years ago. Two, two, three years ago. I how don't know. Did, how did it affect you? Um, I could see, you know, I think it's one of those things I could see where it could be um, relaxing, very relaxing. It's just something I just never got into. I don't know why. But I can see where, you know, it can be really relaxing. Yeah, I tried it a lot of times. The whole thing is you had to be in Mike's bed to do it. Why Mike's bed? Well, for one thing, just being in his room, the room my dad built for him was so small, it barely just pretty much held a bed and you could walk in, you had to lay on the bed. And he did that so much that he wore the bed like a little ditch. So when you rocked in there, you rolled real easy, and uh, it was really funny. You turned the stereo on, you know. You had the tunes right there. No. <laughs> oh, you never know. I, I'm liable to. I don't have any plans this time. Is this? Yes, I tried it. What did you? Uh, Uncomfortable. You yeah, I, I've had a hard time doing it myself. I tried it myself just lately to see if I could, and it was hard to move my whole body the way he did. Yeah, I tried it. And I didn't like it. <laughs> Why do you say you didn't like it? It just, anyway, it just was not comfortable. I just didn't understand. I couldn't understand why he did it because it wasn't comfortable. I, he made it sound comfortable, like he enjoyed it. Enjoy. He looked like it was fun. I tried it, <laughs> and to me, it just made me kind of dizzy. You yeah, know. it gave you a headache. And for me, I didn't really need that to put myself to sleep, you know, and I didn't really get any enjoyment out of it, so I didn't really do it. But mainly because I saw him, I thought, well, you know, got to be something all to about. It. <laughs> I tried it. I tried it uh, when I when he would, would do it. Uh, all it did was make me dizzy. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't relax me. It re I don't know how it relaxed him, but it, it didn't relax me. Never. I never have. I never noticed it. I've heard of uh, kids that would rock themselves. Yes, I've heard of it. Oh, no, I haven't. No. Mm -hmm. Else. Yes. Um, only in the case um, when we were young kids, there were two girls on our block that used to bed rock. They actually had to, I would say they used to rock to go to sleep. They would, But they would be on their knees and rock back and forth and back and forth. And they did that. Actually, they were about eight or nine as far as I knew. That, those were the only two I ever heard of, but with Mike it's different. He lays flat on his back and rocks back and forth, you know, in a rhythmic motion. 
So it is different, but but in the same, like uh, the way it started out, I think was the same because that was like when he was an infant and started out as from what he tells me, it was soothing and you know, that's how he put himself to sleep, but now it's not for that reason. No, no one except my dad. Did anything like that but Mike. No one did any rocking back, no one did anything. Mike was the only one that did anything like that. Making this film about bed racking is uh, very frightening because you just, it's the fear of people's reactions and what they'll think of it or, you know, the idea. But that's normal, and but that's one thing I'm anxious of meeting are all these reactions to the film. And uh, for years, over 20 years, I was afraid to even talk about it, show it to people, uh, even admit that I still did it. But I hid it and uh, kept it, you know, in the closet, as you would say, for uh, many years because I was afraid of it. I was, it was felt like a freak, and I was afraid. And uh, finally, I don't know what what it, what it was, but I just decided there was just a turn one day. I just I, I wasn't. I didn't feel like a freak anymore, but like a, but like a guy who has something special, and that, you know, it's like the guy who invented M&Ms, you know? But well, you're gonna keep it to yourself, or you're gonna show it to everybody. So uh, I decided to show it to everybody. And uh, actually show everybody what it is, but mainly what it's done for me. I think it relaxed him and it gave him time to think. Uh, I think he did that when he wanted to think about things. That's when he did it. He did it uh, when he rocked. Uh, if we were there, as long as we didn't make a noise, it didn't disturb him. He'd just keep on doing it. If we started harassing over the kids, uh, throw things in the bed when he rocks, so we'd roll over it and then make him mad. We do things like that, but you know, he'd, he'd get rid of what he was, whatever was there and keep on going. <laughs> I think you know when he. I think when you do it. The, the noise and, the, and, the, and all the, uh, everything you put into there, so rock drives everything away so you don't hear anything. Maybe it could be a form of, of uh, relaxing even though you're still moving or, or just a time to think because I know when Mike did it, I mean, he was, he was involved and he was concentrating. So he, he walked out the world. If, if you walked in, he didn't hear you. If I tried to talk to him, he didn't hear me.
And sometimes I thought maybe he did, just to get away by himself, you know, because there were so many kids in a smaller home, and it was just his way of going into his own world and mm -hmm. not thinking about anything, relaxing, and that was it. And I think it, I think it soothed him. He would roll. He would almost roll out of the bed, and he rolled so much that the bed was concave. The mattress. mattress. He wore it out. I'm rolling. I'm rolling so much. Uh, I guess the word would probably be stimulates it, you know, as far as just laying there and rocking. Because I would do it sometimes just to get tired and fall asleep. Kind of a yeah. It's almost like uh, like how people like to dance, and dancing is tiring, but it's also it's, it's you know. It's fun. You get to listen to music. I think it's something along those lines. And yeah, it's kind of like doing a dance step over and over and over. Gotcha. Bed rocking isn't done for like you know. Oh, I'm gonna go to bed and I'm gonna bed rock to put myself to sleep or anything. He bed rocks. Bed rocking is actually a way for Mike to. Um, it's a way for him to listen to music. I mean, some people dance. And they listen to music. Some people, you know, sit around and just listen to music. That is Mike's favorite way to listen to music, is actually what bedrocking is. And also, it's, like I've told him, I believe it's a form of, um, I guess you might say meditation in a way for him. Um, he can really tap in on, on um, if he's got a problem or... Uh, you know, he could concentrate on something if he's if he has an art project he wants to work on. It seems like it's almost um, a mind expanding thing. He can bedrock and focus. It totally makes him focus on something. It can or focus on nothing and just listen to music and relax. It's a form of relaxation for him. That's what it is. And also, his favorite way to listen to music. Cause he likes it and he thinks it's he thinks it's fun. It gives him energy. One of the main things that I get out of bed rocking is that it helps me to tap into my imagination. I feel I can, I have an idea or something I'm thinking about. I'll get into that rhythmic motion and have a good song playing and I can just key in on, on the problem or the idea or whatever it is I'm working on. Not every day I'm working on something, but when I am, this helps me out so much to figure out things and to see things, to see things before I make them. And uh, that's one of the best tools that rock has been for me. Besides, it's just the best way to listen to music.
I think that um, I don't know if uh, bedrocking helped Mike to become a drummer. Uh, I know that Mike has told me that through bedrocking he has definitely learned different drum beats though. Um, and I think that's actually from the combination of like the rhythmic motion that he's doing but also the concentration that he gets while listening to different music. Uh, he's 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 homing in on different drum beats that he's hearing, and then he learns the beats from the different music. Well, um, I guess because he was bedrocking the music, getting rhythm and all that, I think it was um, springboard for it. I think if he would have tried guitar or anything, he probably would have been you know somewhat good at it, just because he he really enjoyed music. I never noticed him humming. Um, I, I, he, very young, uh, he enjoyed music. Uh, we bought him a drum uh, when he was a little, little tyke. How old was he when you got He him? was maybe four years old or so. We bought him a little drum. And he still has it today. And that was kind of the beginning. And he liked to drum. And uh, perhaps the bed rolling is a, a sense of, of, uh, of rhythm to him, where he's doing something rhythmic. He was always into music. He, when he was younger, I uh, second, third grade, and my parents bought him a drum, and he'd beat on this drum, and he'd, or he'd be rocking. And one of the two, he'd be beating on that drum or rocking constantly. And I think the, I think the, the rocking gave him his beats for his drumming because he'd rock and then he'd play his drum. And uh, I think it wasn't was until about a year later he finally got my parents to let him take drum lessons because he wanted to take them so bad. But. Uh, you know, it's just that when he rocked, he always hummed. He always, it wasn't the same song or same. It wasn't the same tune. He could always. He was always just humming things. He was always thinking. You know, it's just I don't know if he was thinking of songs or what he was doing, but he always did it. I became interested at a very young age, eighth grade. I was in uh, in playing the drums because I've always fantasized about being in a rock band, and uh, I had the opportunity to start drum lessons and uh, through bed rocking, I would listen to bands and listen to their drummers, and it helped me helped me learn drum beats. I'd listen to a drum beat and then I'd run down and practice on my drum set.
think it's going to be one of the darn best tapes I've ever seen. <laughs> And oddly enough, one time we were moving, and uh, a buddy of ours, a good friend of Mike's, who knew about Mike bedrocking from when he was a kid and teenager, um, we were moving out the mattresses, and somebody made a crack about our mattress because it was like all sunk in, and there's springs coming out, and it, it didn't dawn on me till we were moving. Funny enough, they knew about the bedrocking. Um, this guy knew about bedrocking and the remark he made was actually um, uh, about that but I didn't realize it because I didn't know about the bedrocking and um, and it was just funny and now you know looking at I'm just thinking about our mattresses how many mattresses we've been through um, you know they're, and they're all sunk in in the middle after a while you know I and like the last time I went mattress shopping I uh, it must have been about well, five years ago, six years ago, and I remember uh, I still hadn't known about the bed rocking, and I was looking for like the firmest mattress I could get because I'm thinking, I don't know what it is, but we just can't keep these mattresses. One time I told my buddies that uh, he had his girlfriend in there. I didn't think it was weird until they had, they kind of looked at each other and started laughing like, what the hell is he doing, you know? Oh, are you kidding? Stereo blaring, he's rocking. Hey, you know, it, I think it's almost like he was in a trance, or not a trance, but you know what I mean? Just into it, almost like dancing or something. Okay. But usually he didn't just sit right up, he just had to slow down and get up and... The only thing is that he did wear, wear a mattress out, you know, that happened so long ago. With a large family, rolling in bed didn't seem like any big deal, and when you've got a bunch of kids, if something like this keeps them content and happy, then you're just to get, yeah. figure, well, there's not hurting anybody. It's, he's happy, he's content, let it go, you know. Because when I'd wake him up, he would wake up and he's like, he's like in a trance wondering what's going on. Like he didn't even know he was doing this. Oh, really? You no. Know. So you actually had... It's like I was disturbing him. He'd, he'd wake up and he'd so look. I just thought it was funny because I never heard of anyone doing it. I don't know. What this was funny because we never talked about it. And we all yeah, knew we did it. Kind of ignored it. So it, I figured it had to be kind of strange. <laughs> well, when I first noticed him, he was too young to really have a radio going. <laughs> you know, I don't really remember. As he got older, and uh, I don't he remember. He always had the much. He always had the records on. He doing played a it. lot of music. Maybe that's he was he doing it with the music. Well, I think it was different because I, I I never knew anyone else that did it besides Mike. 